Back in the late 80s, when the first Contour came out, it was more or less an instant hit because of the combination of, of the craftsmanship and the sound of the product. And it was a product that also pushed Dynaudio further into when we made products in the 90s. It was very much a, a rebirth of, of a lot of the products that came out in the 90s. The very first one, which was a rather classical, aesthetical design, then they got the actual one, which is like outstandingly Danish design, which I really love. And uh, it lasts very long, like 13 years, which is outstandingly long for a speaker range. For me, it's just the essence of Dan Audio. It's pure aesthetics, simple materials, and an honest construction. When you have a classic, it's it's just uh, it's just something that you have to, to respect. You have something that is different, it's special. And out of respect of that, uh, we decided to continue with the Contour and, and update the Contour to make the third generation of Contour. Basically, everything is new. Everything has been redesigned from a scratch. So the midwoofers, this is the larger, which reproduces bass mid-ranges, was redesigned. We kept the Dynaudio DNA by using the same material, same look, but all the rest is new, like the geometrical shape of the diaphragm, voice coil, height, diaphragm, material, everything is, is new. You bring together all the people that will be the founding fathers of the speaker, and then they work together. And they understand the need for design, they understand the need for acoustics. But every design choice, industrial design choice, is founded in an acoustic need. The new driver required a much stronger cabinet build and design. So for the first time ever, we designed a speaker with soft edges. It's a design which is um, firstly shaped to get the sound as good as possible and melt the brought in some really nice details. For example, the front baffling aluminium is perfect because the drivers are screwed into a firm alu plate, which doesn't vibrate. We wanted that extra bass, but at the same time retaining the mid-range performance. It's always a trade-off when you do a, a speaker between various things. If you, if you do something over here, it'll get different over there. So you're always changing a lot of things at the same time. What we wanted in this speaker was just to have the best performance. And uh, it's very, very difficult to improve on what we've done in tweeters in the past. The actual tweeter reached the performance that we could get out of this tweeter. We couldn't get more, so we needed to use uh, Ezota technology. If we were to match the performance of the rest of the speaker, the only obvious choice for us was to go with the Ezota Square tweeter, which is our top of the line tweeter. The gain we have in quality is uh, so high that we want to change back to something more, more normal. It's very difficult to point out and say it's the driver or it's the cabinet. I would say it's the overall result, and I think we achieved uh, both retaining uh, the absolutely fantastic uh, high, uh, high end and mid end, but at the same time getting that dynamic bass response that we were looking for. But it's not just retaining what we had on the high end and mid, but actually improving on these as well. Simply better. Like everything is better. Bass performance, mid range, image, 3D imaging, the look. The Contour is, is a classic and is beloved by so many people because it is a very, very good speaker. It's a speaker you never tire of. You can listen to a contour day in and day out, you'll never tire of it. And at the same time, you have a quality that is uh, unrivaled. The new contour is a beautiful speaker. We designed it with the respect for the Dynaudio legacy, but it's also a symbol of the new direction of Dynaudio.